Hi, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. In this video, I am focusing on troubleshooting SQL Server I.O. Now SQL Server I.O. concepts are huge. There are many different ways on how you can troubleshoot SQL Server I.O. And in this part one, I am going to show you the usage of a DMV called DMIO Virtual File Stats. I intend to record multiple videos, uh, multiple parts, so that I can show you all the different techniques on troubleshooting SQL Server I.O. performance. So as usual, no slides, let's jump straight into action. So I am switching on to my DMV or the VM here. Now my focus in this demo is on this DMV, D DMIO virtual file stats and I'm getting all the data so I just put null to the parameters. When I execute this DMV, dynamic management view, there are multiple columns, uh, the output. So let me explain you some of these columns here. I of course get the database ID and then using the DB name function, I get the name of the database. Now each database can have multiple files. Uh, it can have multiple log files, it can have multiple data files. File ID one will always be the first log file and then you will have multiple data files starting from file ID two onwards. So you can see one of the databases here, which I'm going to use in my example, the tuning database, uh, which has file ID two. And then let's look at other uh, column and understand the data. Now here are three important columns, um, number of reads, I use stall read MS and number of bytes read. So number of reads as the column name says, this is the number of reads that have taken place on this file ID two of the database tuning. I use stall read MS in milliseconds. Uh, this means that 456 milliseconds is the total amount of time IO requests had to be had to wait before they were uh, accepted or they were catered to. So this is what we call as IO stall read in milliseconds. And of course, this is the number of uh, bytes uh, read from the tuning database. Now these numbers are of course very very low and just minuscule because I have just started uh, or rather restarted SQL Server instance. So you are seeing this really like fresh new data. And now when I simulate workloads, you will see these numbers getting higher up. The way you have this combination of number of reads and the, and the in milliseconds, the uh, uh, stall for uh, read and uh, the number of bytes read Likewise, you have a combination of these columns for number of writes, number of uh, bytes uh, written, and IO stall write. Again, in milliseconds, how much time the, the IO requests had to wait. There is this column, IO stall, which is uh, nothing but um, a summation of IO stall read and uh, IO stall write. So if you, let's say, add 585 to 5, you get 590. So you see with reads statistics and write statistics and the total you have all the different mathematics that you can do to get more meaningful information. Now much like many other DMVs just simply select start from a DMV is uh, seldom useful so you need to really do some mathematics. I'm not going to show you very complicated mathematics here I will simply just try to demonstrate on how you can use this data to understand if your IO is slow. The focus here is, is not why it is slow, but to first investigate if you really have a slow IO problem. Now, there is this concept of latency, which is the, uh, which you can actually figure out from IO stall read MS. Now this is the total cumulative value. So if you divide this data, by number of reads, you would get that latency factor per read. So I have done a, uh, some small mathematics here, which is I used all read MS by number of reads and you get what we call as average read latency. You could do this for write as well or for the total. But uh, in this demonstration, I just want to get the concepts clear. So let me uncomment this portion. And when I execute this, now I have my average read latency. So what you can see is for the tuning database, and sorry, I also want to show you that I am ordering by IO stall descending. Um, it is uh, meaningful to actually 
order this by iostall <coughs> read ms because i am going to focus on read workload and uh, i will see tuning database now is that fourth position because uh, i am um, ordering by the total read ms in descending order so which means uh, now when i run the workloads you will observe that tuning database will actually come on top here so what you can observe is the average read latency in milliseconds is like 5 8 18 so on and so forth and for our tuning which is our let's assume user production database it is 6.6 .6. now this number this um, in milliseconds the read latency is very debatable is 6 good is uh, 10 good is 15 good 20 good you know single digit number should you have single digit numbers or double digit numbers and sometimes in production servers you might see even triple digit numbers going all the way to 100 milliseconds sometimes if you have really slow io now microsoft uh, at some point published general guidelines as to what these numbers should be and they said that anything below 20 milliseconds is uh, is good is satisfactory anything less than like 8 milliseconds is awesome it is superb so it it really is how powerful your hardware is and it also depends on number of factors most importantly the io path uh, your request goes all the way from server to the san and there are a lot of pa parts in between the server and the san you have uh, you, you have all the wires you have the uh, hba hba uh, the adapters you have the um, network cards and there are a lot of these configuration uh, uh, settings um, and then you have the la uh, you have the SAN switch and you have the network switch so all these components they form this IO path and there could be latencies and uh, bottlenecks in in any area which will really increase this value so what is the right value really talk to your vendor uh, uh, understand what kind of disks and what kind of configuration you have and you will have a better number but for the purpose of demo let's really go by uh, what SQL Server gives me here and I'm going to give you a very practical example so I'm running this on a laptop with uh, SSDs so you're going to see good numbers because this is more like a direct attached storage my disk is on the computer where the data resides in real world production environment data resides in SAN so so the data really has to travel over the wire uh, nonetheless um, I'm going to simulate slow disk and I'm going to show you this demo and what are the numbers you should care about so let's go and run the workload so when I execute this now uh, you can see everything is all good static now let's go and run some workload so I run this um, command and I am going to run some PowerShell scripts let me create a few more instances so now I have about six instances running and am I seeing some data yes you can you can see that there is some data coming in there from the PowerShell window which is which means my workloads are properly running now let's go back and look into the DMV output if I execute this and now you will see suddenly tuning database has jumped on the top because its read latency or uh, is highest right now because this is the only database I am running the workload against and you can see that I stall and please focus on these numbers now maybe number of reads uh, I used to read MS and average read latency if you keep your eye on these you will see that number of reads is increasing I'm executing again and again and you will see I used to read MS increasing that number is increasing and now the most important look at average read latency in in, in summary number of reads and I used to read MS the cumulative value is not going to make much sense average read latency is what is uh, uh, the one data item that you really need to focus on and you can see the numbers is changing now it's 5.63 now it's 5.7 and let's again execute a few more times and then you will see again it's sticking at 5.7 now it's back to 5.6 so you you can see it's playing pretty well between 5.6 5.7 or rather I should say less than 6 which is good uh, it's good uh, storage uh, things are running fine all good now what's bad so the bad is if I go and make the disk a bit slow so let me go and select execute make disk slow and if I execute this 
command completed successfully and if I go back now and I execute this now you will see the average read latency has jumped to 7.9 now it's 8.0 8.6 now it's going up so I've engineered something which is making my disk slower and the latency factor is increasing now the number of reads uh, are are happening the way they were happening before but the wait time for those reads have increased now remember the moment I talk about wait times that's another way on how you can troubleshoot uh, slow IO so you can use perfmon counter you have a number of different wait types that you can focus on uh, you have these DMVs that you can focus on as I said before IO is very very critical for a high performing SQL server and and the f uh, the focus really in this uh, holy trinity of CPU IO and memory uh, I, I do tend to focus a lot more on the IO now now you see the average read latency has gone all the way beyond 20 and it's now touching 30 so now really I'm crossing that general guideline and uh, my latency is going pretty bad so well with this uh, demo you have understood on what is um, that one data item that you should focus on is this latency factor. It's very easy to compute this and of course you can do more mathematics around this DMV to get more meaningful data out. And before I close my demo I should make my disk and of course I can I just have make disk very slow I can run this and it will go really really bad but I don't want to do that I hope the message is clear so let me go and bake it back to normal and when you see I'm trying to do that it does take some time and when you execute this back and you can see latency has gone really bad so in this uh, demo you have seen how IO latency as one of the data items can be used to figure out if you have a slow IO. DMV is one, you have perfmon, you can use extended events, you can use weight statistics or in real world combination all of them to first understand whether you really have slow IO. The identification is part one, first thing and diagnosing and fixing is another thing. So in this demo I was just trying to show you the concept of what IO path is and how you can have inadequate IO paths and how you can troubleshoot it using DMVs using the latency factor. With this, thank you very much for your time uh, watching this video. Hope it was uh, worth your time and hope you learned something new. I am available on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash a underscore bunsel. Do follow me. Have a good day.